Hey, Tom's grade. So if you've been assigned your plant report, it means that you've had a lot of the paragraphs were missing or they were missing citations or they were missing pictures. And you're going to have to add to it and resubmit it so I can put it in the grade book. Or you were assigned this because you didn't turn it in at all. And so this is a great opportunity for you to get these extra points for the grade book. So, so far we've done the cover page and heading. We've written our introduction, we've writ we wrote the anatomy and diagram paragraph with citations and quotes, and we have our figure right here. We also added our works cited section. So now that we're done with the anatomy and diagram paragraph, I wanna make sure that I'm center aligned and I'm gonna come over to my plant report guidelines and this time I'm going to be writing about growing conditions for my plant. So I'm going to come back over to my um, report and it's going to be growing conditions for the pinto bean. Okay so now I have my subheading. Now that I have my subheading, I want to start typing, and so I need to come back over to left aligned. I'm going to make a tab to indent my paragraph, just like you should, and it says the first part, write what this paragraph is about. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I think I want some help from my sentence starters. So I can look at these. Introducing statistics. Mm, I think I want to wait when I get my quotes to start using these. So for now, I'll just say something like, um, in this paragraph, comma, I will reveal the um, the requirements to grow my plant. Okay, so that's basically what this is about. Okay, and then in the following sentences, you need to talk about temperature, amount of water, sunlight, soil for it to survive, and then you need to talk about how long it takes to germinate and what kind of things help it to pollinate. So in the end, you should have about seven sentences and then your closing sentence, which leads you on to the history of the plant. So I wanted to show you today, not how to go to different websites, but more how to use these sentence frames. It's really useful. So sentence frames for introducing quotations. You can say something like, the source states, comma, and then you use your quote, and then you can put your number of your website in your parentheses. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> so you could say something like, um, this website states, comma, and then you can put the quotation marks, whatever it is, close your quotation marks, and then cite your website. So I've already used three websites, so this would be my fourth source. And then you put your period there. So that's how you use these sentence starters. Let's take a look at another one. So I just used the first one, blank states. And this X stands for the website. So if I look at this, I said, this website states, X states, and then I have my comma and my quotation marks, and then your quote goes here. So let's do another sentence starter. We can say, um, according to this website, right? What if we use this third one? So I can come back to my report, and another sentence starter might be, according to this website, comma, use my quotation marks, add the quote in there, close my quotation marks, and then it. And then don't forget whatever's number four, to put it down here for number four and to put it down here for number five.